Hello everyone, welcome back again to my channel. This is Teacher Harold. For today's video, itutuloy po natin ang ating discussion with the different types of speech according to delivery. So with our last video, na pag usapan natin yung tungkol dun sa extemporaneous speech. Today's video naman ay pag usapan natin ng tungkol sa impromptu speech which is also one of the speeches uh, type of speeches according to delivery yun nga yung delivery niya is in the uh, it's impromptu okay it's impromptu which means to say diba from the word itself impromptu ibig sabihin agad-agad um, uh, this type of speech uh, has uh, no advanced preparation at all uh, you will be giving your answer at the spur of the moment kapag narinig mo yung question I mean, your, the question or the topic, then right away, you have to start with your speech immediately. Alright? So, wala. Wala kang ano. It's unrehearsed. It is uh, spoken conversationally. Um, no preparation at all. Actually, this is very common for us because, you know, diba, the Filipinos are very fond of uh, watching uh, or making uh, beauty pageants. Right? Sa mga beauty pageants natin, usually nakikita ito ng type ng speech na to. When the judges ask their questions, right away, the candidates need to answer the question. Uh, they do not have any uh, preparation. Siguro meron silang ma preparation like uh, 3 seconds, 4 seconds, or sometimes wala. As in so, as in uh, no pre pre preparations at all. Saan po ba nangyayari ang mga uh, speeches gaya ng impromptu speech? Just like what I've said, um, parang sa mga beauty pageants nga po, during the Q&A portion, Diba? Sa question and answer, meron silang, uh, sometimes the judges will just uh, ask the question and then right away the candidates will have to answer the question. And, uh, parang walang preparations at all. Kaya, ayun. And then, it's your first, another, uh, kung saan siya nangyayari, it's your first day at work or in class or during an interview. Right? Um, if you have already experienced to be on an interview, diba? you do not know kasi what are the questions that the interviewer will ask you. So, let's say, for example, um, tatanawin ka nila, will you say, uh, will you, why, why we should hire you, mga ganyan. Although, though, as, aside from the common questions na napagkahandaan na natin, ano, what are the advantages of this impromptu speech? First, it's, it's spontaneous or natural speaking. When you talk about your idea, when you make your, ano, your speech impromptu, it's natural, diba? So, that could be an advantage kasi nga, wala ka namang wala kang magagawa you don't have uh, any idea you wala kang time hindi mo na rehearse yung uh, sasabihin mo kasi nga you don't have any idea naman about the question or about the topic that will be given to you so that's an advantage you just have to sound like uh, it's a natural speak nila nang nagsasalita ka and advantage also impromptu speech is more focused and brief more focused kasi kung it's at the spur of the moment eh Kung ano lang kasi yung naitanong sa'yo, then kung what is in your mind, then you just have to give it to say it. You just have to answer the question based on how your mind process it immediately. First, very common disadvantage of impromptu speech is the tendency to be disorganized. Kasi nga, di ba, well, no preparation at all, no knowledge at all about the question, no knowledge at all about the topic. So there is a very big tendency for you to be uh, disorganize. Especially, kapag kinabahan ka sa sasabihin mo, kapag kinabahan ka, ayan, nakita mo yung audience, ang daming tao, ba? And then, parang, it's your, you're not used to it. It's a very, uh, possible, a big possibility that you will be, uh, disorganized. Okay? Another disadvantage is lacks connection with the audience. Minsan po, sa sobrang kaba natin, uh, while answering the question, while discussing the topic that will be given to us impromptu, nagkaka nakakalimutan na natin na meron pala tayong audience na nanonood sa atin. Right? Kasi nga yung focus na natin ay nandun na sa, sa thought organization kung ano, na yung, ano ba yung sasabihin mo, paano mo ba sasagutin yung question. So, na mga ganong uh, pagkakataon, no? nakakalimutan mo nang mag-build ng rapport with your audience. It's because you are pressured, you are uh, nervous, takot ka para probably na paano mo may explain ng maayos yung gusto mong sabihin. Another disadvantage is actually nerve-wracking for experienced speakers and especially for beginners. Ano? It's actually very nerve-wracking. No? Kahit nga sa mga used, uh, para mga tao na they're used into public speaking na, they considered still, uh, they consider still an impromptu speech to be nerve-wracking. Ano, lalong-lalo na sa mga beginners. Like, hindi ka pa masyadong sanay to face an audience. Ayan. So, mahirap po talaga. It's really nerve-wracking. It's talagang kakabahan ka, dadagain ka. Even with your teachers, ano, 
um, dumadating din po sa punto na when we have to discuss uh, a topic impromptu, dumarating din sa pagkakataon na talagang uh, kinakabahan din sa kung anong sasabihin. Especially if you're not really knowledgeable with the topic, you're not really knowledgeable with the question that will be asked to you, then re- that's really nerve-wracking. No? The tips, ano, paano po ba magawa ng mabuti ang isang impromptu speech? So, once you are requested to say something, pause for a moment. Mag, ano ka, tumigil ka ng ilang, uh, ng ilang segundo, mag-isip ka. Right? Na, uh, narinig mo yung question, narinig mo yung topic, and then, yun nga, sabi ko, uh, just like what what I have said with, with uh, in the last video, ano, uh, once you received or you heard the topic or the question immediately, 1, 2, 3, A, B, C, introduction, body, conclusion, yun po kagad. Ano, kahit in a very short time, segundo lang po ang uh, um, pag lalaanan ilalaan mong oras para makapag-prepare sa impromptu speech ganun pa rin ano ba ang intro mo ano ba ang body mo ano ba ang conclusion mo right um pause for a moment stop for a while organize your thoughts and then start speaking state your point briefly and deliver it in a pace your audience can follow right um paano po yan ano how are you going to keep your ano point brief how are you going to make your, your audience follow what you're going to say? Relax. Alright? That's the point there. Yun po yung pinaka-tip, ano, kung paano magagawa ng mga isang isang impromptu speech. Relax. Although, it's, uh, sabi ko nga, with what a disadvantage, is very nerve-wracking, ano, but you have to make point that you have to make yourself relax. Um, take a deep breath. Huminga, huminga ka ng malalim, ayan, mag ka, and then start speaking. Um, don't worry, your audience understand that that is an impromptu speech, and it will never, no one, nobody could say that giving an impromptu speech is an easy task. Ano? Lahat naman po ay um, tinasabing uh, delivering an impromptu speech is really a nerve-wracking experience for every speaker. Say what's on your mind, organize your thoughts, diba? or sometimes kung ano yung lumabas sa isip mo, yun na lang sabihin mo. And the, the last tip will be, don't forget to say thank you at the end of your speech. Okay, so with that, I, we just have to understand that impromptu speech is a really uh, hard thing to do, a really hard uh, task for a speaker to perform. Diba? Kaya, kasi nga, you really have to speak at the spur of the moment. Ano? And siguro, as your teacher, one thing that I can tell you on how are you going to uh, make yourself prepared for in- impromptu speech will be practice. Diba? Rehearse. Rehearse and rehearse. Ano? Try to make uh, time, give time for you to practice impromptu speech. Try to challenge yourself to uh, give speeches to or answer questions in a impromptu manner para masanay ka sa kung ano ang sasabihin. So, with that, I think um, that's all for today. I hope you learned something again from our video. And please don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga latest uh, lessons natin na i-upload po dito sa ating channel. Once again, this is Teacher Harold. And goodbye and God bless. Just hold on